Laser engraving and cutting are huge parts of the maker community, as well as being fun tools for hobbyists. The SculptFun S9 laser engraving machine is a somewhat high-end diode laser engraver that still manages to come in shockingly cheap compared with much of its competition. However, does that mean that the S9 will be able to stand up to its predecessors, the S6 and the S6 Pro? I'm William Worrell with MakeUseOf.com and today we'll be taking a look at the SculptFun S9 laser engraving machine. The SculptFun S9 laser engraving machine is a fixed focus laser engraver with a 445nm wavelength blue diode laser, with 55 watts of output from the laser itself, making this a perfect choice for anyone who is starting out in the world of maker culture in general, or laser engraving and cutting specifically. It's a self-assembly engraver with simple instructions to help you put it together, and luckily, it's not an exceedingly long process to get it done. No IKEA level problems arising from these directions. It took me about 45 minutes to get this thing put together and up and running, and it was mostly very simple. The only fiddly bit was putting the tracks inside of these beams to move the laser and shroud around the engraving area. The kit comes with all the tools you'll need to get it together, but it's helpful if you have some anti-static tweezers or something similar on hand to help pull these rubber tracks through. Once it's physically set up, you just have to plug it in, connect the USB-A to USB-B cable, and install one of the two suggested engraving applications. The S9 comes with a few documents other than the starting guide, in the form of some PDFs that you can find by scanning the QR code on the front of the manual. This runs you through the process of using the laser, and it's pretty simple to follow. The user manual recommends two different pieces of software for you to use, with Laser GRBL being the free and more user-friendly software choice, while Lightburn is paid for software that offers more advanced features for experienced users. With the software downloaded, the manual runs you through setting the focus of the laser. After placing a protective surface underneath the area you'll be engraving on, you place the object you're cutting or engraving underneath the laser. Then, loosen these nuts at the back of the device and place the aluminium focusing column underneath the shroud of the laser diode. Then, tighten up the nuts once more and the laser will be at the perfect distance from the engraving for optimum results. Thanks to being a fixed focus laser, it's incredibly easy to set up and get ready for a burn. At this point, the included manual covers the use of laser GRBL software, but doesn't cover light burn quite as heavily. This makes a lot of sense, since you probably won't need much software instruction if this isn't your first laser engraver, but if it is your first time, then you're probably going to lean towards using the more simplified software. You also do get some examples of optimal settings for this laser with different materials, both in terms of cutting and engraving. These settings are also important for light burn and other similar software, but be sure to remember that the stats in the book deal with millimetres per minute when it comes to speed, so if your software uses some other denomination, you'll need to convert them. Now, in terms of how well the S9 itself deals with engraving and cutting different materials, it's mostly very good news. Despite being incredibly easy to set up and use, the S9 can deal with a surprising variety of different materials with excellent results. There's a small coaster side piece of thin wood included for you to try out, as well as a thicker piece for you to test cutting, but you can engrave on almost anything from paper and card all the way up to metals and plastics, as long as you follow the safety information when choosing what you're picking to avoid something catching fire or letting off noxious chemicals. If you're using the appropriate settings, you can easily get incredibly good results even on your first few uses of the device. The software allows you to simply take images and use various tools to convert them into usable engraving or cutting patterns. With the speed and power settings from the manual, you simply enter them into the correct field and hit start. There is some fiddling when it comes to getting quality settings quite right for the image and material you're using, but a lot of these results speak for themselves. One of the first things that we tried was engraving some images onto blank coasters, and after a little experimentation, it was easy to get multiple different designs done without many errors. We also tried some more complex ideas, such as cutting a wooden dice tower design out of a piece of wood for us to glue together. Not only was this achieved very easily, but it was also possible to size the tower down to the correct size for our sheets of wood. Of course, we did end up with a very small dice tower as a result, but that's a limitation of the material more than anything else. Besides, the resulting tower is pretty cute, and can at least be used for rolling up characters with these tiny d6s. Experimenting with other materials also produced stellar results. Slate, in particular, is an excellent medium for this engraver. It produces a very nice contrast between the image and the background, and it does it pretty damn quickly, 
so even on larger designs like these placemats that we've produced, it doesn't take all day to get things done. On that note, bear in mind that during the use of the device, you and anyone else in the room needs to be wearing the included safety goggles. If you're planning on using this in a domestic home, rather than say a private workshop, then you'll need to buy extra goggles for anyone who is planning on walking in. Another material that we tried out was acrylic, specifically this sheet of 3mm thick acrylic plastic. Now, in the guide it gives you settings to use on acrylic, but for some reason on the safe materials sheet, acrylic and other forms of plastic are simply crossed out and I don't know why. Either way, this machine can handle cutting acrylic sheets very easily, as long as you're dealing with a dark enough colour, or one that the blue laser won't have trouble dealing with. It's a bit tougher engraving on metal, at least if you're limited in your experience. We tried engraving on a piece of painted metal with the suggested specs in the book, and although it looked good while painted, after clearing away the paint with acetone we were left with very faint lines. Even on repeated attempts with slower speeds or more passes, it became clear that not much was happening. Still, it looked great before you wipe off the paint, and there's a very big chance that this is more down to user inexperience and potentially poor quality materials, more than anything the laser itself is doing wrong. So. Are there any downsides at all to the Sculptfun S9 laser engraving machine? Well, if there is anything minded to say at all, it's only that if this were aimed more specifically at beginners, it would have been more useful to have information about the specifics of working with certain materials. It's not really much of a mark against the machine, but while it makes mention that it would be difficult to cut clear acrylic or plastic, it doesn't mention the potential difficulties with lighter colours in general. Specifically, materials like this pale blue acrylic that we have, which just doesn't work very well with this blue laser. At the end of the day, not only is it incredibly easy to set up and use the S9 laser engraving machine, but it's also a shockingly powerful cutting and engraving machine for the money that you're putting into it. This device will run you just over 300 US dollars, and for that you're getting some incredible cutting power. The clever optics in the laser assembly make it possible to cut through materials all the way up to 15mm, depending on the material in question. Whether you're a hardcore member of the maker community looking for a new cutter and engraver for your builds, or a hobbyist who wants to knock out some plaques and coasters for your friends, you'll struggle to find a laser of this quality for anywhere near this sort of price. Thanks for watching our review of the Sculptfun S9 laser engraving machine, and a big thanks to the team at Sculptfun for sending us this product to cover. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on this video to help it grow. And if you want to see more content from us, hit subscribe to have our latest videos delivered directly to you. You can also find links to our websites in the description of this video, where you'll not only find the written version of this review, but plenty of other tech-based articles, news and guides.